Uh, good evening to all of you. So uh, quickly, uh, let's move on to the session. Bull mock cat 26. I think this test has given uh, many surprising shocks simultaneously. Am I correct? Am I right or wrong? The test has given many shocks. People expected uh, good marks. Initially, test takers, whenever uh, you took this test, so when they saw the result, they were quite surprised uh, looking at the result. So I don't know what happened. Even uh, one of my students got negative also. I don't know. Uh, otherwise, a very uh, hold is quite strong on verbal section. But somehow he got minus one or I don't know, minus nine. I don't know what happened. So the reason behind what I think is that uh, this paper had uh, five difficult questions. 25 moderate question 25 plus 30 means moderate to difficult test and uh, the choices I think if I talk about passages even if I talk about other uh, areas primarily passages and summary the choices were too close seemingly while reading the passage uh, you must be uh, feeling that uh, passage is very simple and it's uh, I'm able to understand but when it comes to answering questions I think questions were very close and uh, tricky at the same time and uh, moderate 25 questions and easy four questions were easy only so all in all moderate to tough paper when it comes to scoring scoring comes to see the uh, normal logic is very simple whenever we are attempting any question we are not able to guess whether the question is difficult or let's say moderate or easy when it, especially in english language Maths, DI, we are absolutely clear we can solve this question or we cannot solve this question. But when it comes to verbal section, we all, we all are emotional because English is our mother, mother tongue. And we think that uh, if I attempt this question, there is no harm in attempting this question and we will get the question uh, mostly. Tricky question, wrong. Now the person who got uh, 99.99, uh, number one rank in verbal, scored uh, 56 marks. And his accuracy was no doubt 74% and his percentile was 99.99. I don't know who this lucky guy is. And person who got 91 percentile uh, scored 27 marks. His accuracy was mere 52% but 52% is very very risky game. 52% means you attempt let's say if I talk about 27 marks. 27 means 9 to 10 question correct. 9 to 10 question is accuracy just 52%. 52% must have attempted uh, probably uh, 27, 26 questions. So, so and you get uh, 13, 12, 13 wrong uh, after attempting 26, 27 questions. So sometimes uh, this trick will work but not always that you attempt all the questions. So do not go overboard in uh, while attempting questions. Pick up the questions which are solvable. Pick up the question which are solvable. So don't go overboard. And uh, this is how the statistics goes. And let's talk about the analysis now. I don't know what you felt while uh, taking this exam. But while reading the passage, I think uh, all were enjoying passages and other areas. But result was absolutely topsy-turvy. Okay, so coming out of the question parts, I have just picked up few questions because uh, otherwise in just 45 minutes we cannot solve the entire paper. No doubt we uh, give you only one hour, six, uh, only 60 minutes. But again, uh, while making people understand 45 minutes are too less uh, from next time. This time again uh, we are shortage of time but next time it would be one hour session. One to one hour, one hour and one hour 15 minute session. So guys, uh, so uh, this question coming on to this is uh, misfit and I have picked up only one passage today. No more passages, not all the passages, 45 minutes. I picked up this melancholy passage where the author is drawing comparison between melancholy and some sort of depression. Medieval era and today's era and uh, uh, primarily uh, the passage I think while reading passage was very easy but uh, all of you have marked the question as tagged the question as difficult. Most of you got this answer to these uh, this particular these questions wrong. So coming back to question number 67, guys. If I am audible, uh, then uh, I think question was easy. Uh, you have given students have marked this question as moderate. 
moderate means if you attempt this question there are chances 50% chances that you will get question correct 50% chances you will not get uh, you will not get this question correct so i think uh, passage is talking about a is talking about leadership is such a difficult thing to understand even much more difficult to describe or define and b says um team study foundation companies have yielded mixed results and uh, conflict is to how leadership is viewed differently again we are talking about looking at this point uh, leadership b is also talking the same uh, no equally no aditya i think you are wrong c also says leadership is all about managing crisis uh in a b c in a b c we are talking about leadership in journal and in d sentence we are talking about the experts what experts have to say uh, on this issue so d is little out in first i think a b c forming uh, mandatory trio even and uh, d is out am i clear guys so did you get this question correct i shouldn't be asking this again again it is kind of uh, recalling old wounds applying salt on old wounds it's a literal transition of one of the adage in uh, idioms in our native language hindi so okay uh, so all of you got this question correct so now this is uh, 73rd question i picked a very selected uh, question this time not to waste time because your time is very precious 73rd question it is about summary so it is about summary so the beauty of this question is that it is uh, very lengthy uh, it's uh, as uh, very lengthy and uh, generally while looking at the summary question we will uh, the first reaction would be to avoid this question because kind of rcs same is uh, simple rc if i talk about so uh, the question thus uh, in summary let us recall the basic one or two tricks in summary we are supposed to pick up the major ideas or the facts we are not supposed to pick up the examples first of all we are not supposed to pick up even data while summarizing while summing up, summing up any discussion so just focus on so please train yourself while reading rcs you should be be very clear about the facts what are the facts and what are the opinions or ideas uh, given by the author and this we teach you in uh, critical reasoning also that uh, these are the facts this is a conclusion and these are the assumption this in these inferences can be drawn all of you are my uh, are regular students or let's see if you are our online students also have you gone through uh, this uh, critical reasoning chapter press yes or no summary is from uh, cr part uh, shifali i think 3 to 1 year are yamnanagar or uh, this uh, patiala student Uh, Praveen, make sure that uh, okay. Uh, make sure that you uh, go through because if you don't go through, uh, apart from CAT, in addition to CAT, I think you'll be taking other exams as well. If I'm not uh, wrong, and in other exams, we have got two portions: CR1 and CR2. CR1 is conventional, where we are uh, given uh, strengthening, weakening, summary, inference-based question. CR2 is para completion. Uh, we are also giving you this para completion in a few of the mocks. You must have seen yourself that we are giving you this question. So uh, very important. See, three areas are very important when it comes to scoring well in CAT. First, the RCs, no doubt. 16 question. Second, uh, this uh, sentence arrangement. Generally, we'll get uh, three to four minimum and five to six maximum question. Third, uh, very major area is your critical reasoning. So we cannot afford to lose or not uh, to ignore critical reasoning. So make sure that you. Uh, Ritu Purna is asking me. Uh, so, uh, so am I clear, guys? Especially Praveen. Uh, make sure that you go through as soon as possible. Are you an online student or a central stu uh, center students? One of our students. Which particular center? Ritu Purna online. Uh, Praveen online. So, uh, see, we are uploading videos also. If you uh, want to clear uh, your basics. 
So uh, if you started watching our videos on uh, uh, our channel, we uploaded verbal, uh, di and quant. So for, as far as uh, if, if I talk about cat uh, section, I have uploaded uh, three videos. One is RC, one is Parajambal, third I have lo lo loaded uh, today itself. It is subject or agreement from the grammar part. So make sure that you go through these chapters again. And uh, videos can only substitute, they cannot give you the entire view because in just 30, 30 minutes or 20 minutes video, we cannot teach the entire lesson. But we have divided the every chapter into five or six portions. So we are trying ever, every uh, little best to uh, make uh, the life of online students easier. So uh, coming back to the point, uh, so, so this is uh, again uh, and a summary. The second point, uh, summary, first of all, we need to pick up the main ideas, main lines and opinions and facts, main facts. And secondly, we should definitely uh, learn how to track the keywords or key sentences. Very important. So while practicing RCs, Ritupuna, you asked me uh, uh, philosophy RCs. Uh, there are few sites. Uh, probably right now it is I think one is laphap.com or so I'm not able to recall the meaning uh, sorry the names of these sites we do have a few sites uh, where also I also go through these sites mm, but make sure that you clear all of you you should definitely clear see philosophy is not a problem the terms related to philosophy and the essence of philosophy is a problem for us so there's no point there's no point in practicing too hard on philosophy or psychology rc until unless we clear our basic terms which we call jargon so uh, just type this on google basic terms related to uh, philosophy or psychology in layman's term the definition note down the definition learn and try not learn but try to go through and understand these words or basic terms related to philosophy psychology from layman's point of view these words are creating problem for you, not the subject itself. Am I clear, Ritupurna and other? And these are the most hated area as far as youngsters are concerned at, at the age of 2021. Who cares about philosophy or psychology? And CAT is also aware of this. CAT people, paper setters are also aware of the, uh, these areas, this particular weakness in you. So that's why uh, they pick up the areas uh, from uh, the pick. They make RCs based on these abstract areas. So uh, we cannot change their mind, but we can practice a lot. So make sure that first you uh, clear your jargon related to these areas. Then we can think of practicing. Otherwise, there's no point in practicing. Again, you'll come across the same problem if I tell you the sites even. But uh, for sure, uh, I'll tell you the sites next time. Uh, you can send me mail because you've got my uh, our mail ID. I'll uh, send you the names of the sites. Okay, so uh, the question posed by author here, this in summary is, do animals have free will? Probably the answer to this question would be fairly no. This is his idea. And now he's explaining, uh, explain my, my mail. I just you uh, drop uh, this to our uh, uh, bullseye uh, where you drop your uh, queries, etc. Otherwise, my uh, mail ID is head.verbal at the rate of hitbullseye.com. Head.verbal. Head.verbal at the rate of hitbullseye.com. Otherwise, you can uh, uh, shoot the mail uh, from that particular address also. Okay, so uh, in this question, uh, first line is uh, again sentence, uh, key sentence. Then he's, uh, key, then he's explaining that animals animals uh, the concept of free will is traditionally bound to such thing that our capacity to choose our own values sort then he's explaining what exactly is the concept of free will is so and uh, now but the first uh, second keyword but capacities uh, but is thinking about free will is essential nevertheless to consider capacities of animals also if even if animals cannot be said to full blown free will, animal parts of various sorts of provide a kind of essential underpinning of free will, which philosophers who focus too exclusively on human phenomena are forever in danger of ignoring. So the second, third very uh, uh, funny trick that we try to uh, engage your mind and confuse your mind is we create, we write very lengthy sentences. 
and when you reach at the end of the sentences uh, any particular lengthy sentence you are not able to recall what you started initially so this is one of the tricks that we play we kept up uh, 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 this sentence short but uh, we could have kept this sentence short but point is in order to confuse you further in rcs also in summary based question also and in inference based question also we deliberately keep the sentences lengthy so as to confuse you because uh, most of the students have got you know very less retention power and they generally forget when they reach uh, at the end of the passage or at the end of the line this is one of the tricks and slowly slowly i am giving all my tricks whatever i have in my kitty so he is pr primarily saying that animals do have and uh, it would be false on our part if we consider they don't have um, free will so in the last i think he say the instead of asking as philosophers constantly do whether free will is compatible with determinism he is talking about now probability and the last paragraph i am reading right now this makes it very useful and important thing about the simpler uh, capacities from philosophical uh, perspective instead of asking as philosophers generally we all do whether free will is compatible with determinism we should ask ourselves whether even the simpler power which constitute what i call animal agency are consistent with it or not so primarily he is exploring what exactly is free will and do animals have and what kind of free will they have and uh, what kind of consideration we should have towards them and how should we look at this very uh, abstract boring question i know but we are helpless again let us try to figure out again look at the beauty of the choices very lengthy and after reading this question and all these choices um, uh, we all attain spiritual enlightenment we are hardly left with any desires in us that's a uh, repercussion of this so guys uh, uh, question number uh, 73rd see this how we create funny choices first says the issues of animals having free will has been often dismissed by philosophers let's say till here it is fine uh, as animal do not possess same attributes as humans so where it is clearly mentioned that uh, uh, we do have uh, they do not have same attributes as we have so again very funny considering this dismissal has been done with sufficient thought there is no sufficient thought available is saying that we should look into this from this perspective first gone uh, third is uh, the right answer option because it says that the issue of animals having free will is something that needs to be removed from traditional deterministic because he is saying that likewise philosopher have uh, philosophers have a very uh, particular uh, uh, thinking about this so we need to move away from this and study under new light to understand this is what exactly the entire passage is talking about do animals is exploring answer to this question do animals have uh, free will so third is the right answer but uh, I have uh, deliberately I kept all the choices uh, on the same page so that it can be it should be the choice should be visible but I don't know uh, what happened actually but again again I'll try again I'll try so let's move on to next question guys so again it is uh, I picked up another summary based question because uh, this is moderate uh, level of difficulty question so all of you guys did you get these question uh, this particular question correct guys. Life will be, uh, life always be unfair. I want to play pro basketball. It is unfair. LeBron James is bigger and more talented. Uh, it is again very very uh, tricky question. We all can understand this passage absolutely fine, and we all can uh, make out one or two choices. So instead of cribbing, instead of cribbing and crying and uh, saying that uh, I'm lacking this, I'm not having this. So it is very funny passage uh, generally uh, picked up. Life will be, life will always be unfair. I want to play pro. It is unfair that he, the boy is bigger. It is all in a jaw. Clooney is better looking. It is unfair that brother is smarter than me. One of the ideas. Jones pointed out that I was born with advantage to being born in the United States. Totally unfair. He also has two married parents. Great. Uh, another huge advantage. The question is not whether people start our life homogeneous circumstances. Yet the question is whether government policies that try to fix. 
thing actually make things better or worse so he's ta- he's talking about uh, it is uh, things are certainly there are certain things we cannot control but uh, on the other hand he's saying the government should be made responsible uh, to ch- at least deliver the people what they exactly uh, what they deserve and uh, how should they go about and at least try to create opportunities for them so the key key sentence in this case would be third paragraph first line worse in most cases government help look at this word help is written inverted commas that means whatever is government is doing to help these people actually is not help it is not uh, benefiting anybody uh, on the other hand on contrary it is harming the people encourages poor people to be dependent and passive so there is no point in going for this particular help if the this, this particular help will make poor Uh, dependent and passive so instead dependent people stay poor so another uh, uh, fallout of this problem also government handouts don't handouts means um, the help in terms of aid and etc don't even go to the poor they go to the middle class and uh, instead of making government more well let us get rid of those handouts we should not uh, the government should not help in terms of giving money and such things instead uh he's saying that left and right ought to agree on that what left and right means two political parties left parties and right parties america has prosperity and innovation because of relatively free market now is the main point he is coming to progressive uh, says that keep the innovation but the government make us more equal now this is the exact last uh, punch line which he has given so instead of uh, helping poor by giving them aid etc government should provide equality in opportunity not help in terms of money or reservation whatsoever so i hope that i've uh, made you understood this so now let's uh, go on to the this how we read this how i read even if i have to attempt this question i'll focus on these 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 areas so make sure that you while attempting summary based question you focus on ideas uh, and uh, you know major ideas and facts opinion especially what is uh, what author is saying and whenever you come across uh uh this uh, uh inverted commas word written under inverted comma should be extra careful so the time has come to uh, move back to so equality is less important than opportunity so he concludes that equality uh opportunity requires allowing people to spend their own money take their own risks instead of talking f- about fairness so initially he talked about fairness and it would be better to talk about justice so he's saying that uh, opportunity should be given rather than equality or something so question number 74 the answer to this question is so is talking about equal opportunity not equality for all so fourth is the right option he has included all the keywords the most important derivative of modern life should be equal opportunity for all not the equality for all that is enforced see the word used by enforced by the government uh modern life uh, government handouts my end of my purpose very perform uh, it is talking about uh, modern life i think today he is uh, comparing life will be always unfair we are talking about uh, this time only modern times only and uh, that's why he is uh, even uh, uh, look at this a few lines middle class college loans big mortgage deduction too big to fail government bailouts we are talking about the modern time uh modern life here would uh, mean uh, the modern times today's time uh can be said as subjective term but right now we are talking about because whenever we talk about government government means modern times we have got ample hints otherwise it is little subjective also it is subjective also <laughs> uh yeah we can go back to medieval times also they also used to have uh, governments but right now we are talking about uh, bail out to banks etc they didn't have banks actually so okay uh, so if i have answered your question uh, so let's move on to the next question because uh, yeah uh, the passage now what you have to say about this passage melancholy is a word so were you able to understand all of you were you able to understand the passage as such were you able to make out that these two words are different as per the author melancholy is something else and actually he has praised melancholy he has author found something positive out of this melancholy melancholic state of mind 
because he has given this line charm in the melancholy or melancholic charm very very uh, yeah nice passage in terms of uh, let's say making you uh, realize that wherever you come across anything marvelous let it be piece of poetry or song or painting or the building or whatever whatever uh, most of the master uh, pieces built by so called melancholic uh, state of mind or melancholic people so they were it doesn't uh, mean that in order to succeed or to create master pieces or master strokes one has to uh, be melancholic it's not other way around but is uh, uh, scanning i think is dissecting this melancholic and uh, these two are different areas as per the author he has given the examples also there is long history in western thought asserting melancholy and genius uh, we have van gogh and uh, there are so many he has given art uh, artists and painters so he say he saying that in the first few lines uh, uh, let's move on to the questions first of all uh so uh so do you check the answers uh, sorry meanings of the words when you are uh, done with your paper part for example uh, the tone uh, of the passage can be identified as first of all is not making any guesses so i think conjectural and conjectural cannot go with fanciful uh no shefali illustrative illustrative is fine he has given examples but figurative is kind of uh, using figures of speech and you are literally referring to something else which is exi- which is exactly not existing in real world so illustrative is fine but figurative is weak uh, part of this option uh since he has not given any facts otherwise uh, not uh, so many facts or uh, so cannot be third even he is very objective in can, can can it be objective because author is giving his own idea about this so he cannot be objective objective writing or tone is when you are presenting someone else's views as such it is called objective writing when you put your opinion into your writing for example if i while writing if i say i feel this i from my point of view from this point of view then it would be subjective uh, point of view so a third is also ruled out because of the word objective so i have ruled out three i'm just scanning the passage a little i picked up this way this entire all the four questions have been marked difficult by the students i don't know why Uh, but uh, three question three choices we have done without even uh, reading the entire passage i just picked up this question just to make you understand that uh, uh, we can uh, negate the choices looking at the words picked up by the uh, paper setter so actually we are the paper setters in this case so and uh, descriptive no doubt he has described uh, this uh, melancholy and uh, dep- depression discursive is primarily discursive is when you try to reach the conclusion with the help of reasons so he is uh, absolutely uh, co- correct in stating this that he has uh, written that why melancholy is different and depression should be treated differently he has given reasons also and finally he reached one conclusion also the fourth is the apt choice in this case purpose in just two or three minutes i cannot make you understand the entire rc but point of picking any difficult rc to discuss with you is to make you believe that we still can score well nothing to worry about and definitely we shall be able to get into ims no reaction from your side even uh, i think planning for stanford okay Okay, let's move on to next question. Let's see what we have. According to the author of the uh, passage and the information given the passage, question number seventy-eight. Again, very difficult. Now, this is for sure uh, that melancholy and uh, 
ये सुरुदर को ना कॉम्प्रेंडिंग टोन इज डिफिकल्ट इट इज वेरी वेरी सब्जेक्टिव एंड डिफिकल्ट एरिया अंटिल नेस यू प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट इल नॉट बी एबल टू वी आर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड आउट द एक्जेक्ट टोन अंटिल नेस वी इवन नो द मीनिंग्स ऑफ ऑल दिस टोन द प्राइम रिक्वायरमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई शुड नो द मीनिंग्स ऑफ ऑल दिस ऑप्शंस एंड प्राइम एंड देन सेकंड इज आई शुड हैव प्रैक्टिस इनफ बिफोर टेकिंग द एग्जाम सो कीप ऑन प्रैक्टिसिंग व्हेनेवर यू कम अक्रॉस एट लीस्ट मेक श्योर दैट आई हैव टोल्ड दिस इन इन एवरी सेशन दैट आफ्टर एवरी एग्जाम टेक द प्रिंट आउट टेक द पीडीएफ आउट एंड सॉल्व the paper for the sake of learning and note down the meanings and try to figure out that the uh, when we give explanation that uh, why this choice was this and why this choice was that so otherwise it's very difficult no doubt uh, if you're not clear about any particular tone uh, my advice would be to all of you that do not go for tone based question these are very subjective and uh, very uh, tempting uh, questions and easy trap laid for you buyers so uh, in the entire passage uh, story of this melancholy that uh, one thing uh, author was uh, damn sure about was that melancholy and depressed are not the same the melancholy and depression two different things only uh, second i think yes only second is the right answer uh, not fourth not both second and third according to certain stream of thought melancholy is source of artistic creation no he has just drawn the uh, given the analogy i suppose it's not the source of artistic creation melancholy cannot be the source only and we are not sure about is the outcome of artistic processes or not which way to which way therefore aman only second i think second we are damn sure mm, am i clear aman Yes, Aman. From your side, yes or no? Third is not okay. So very simple question. It is sometimes the question is too simple and we are too clever and we try to play over smart and we get the question wrong. A uh, very simple grammatically incorrect. Uh, we were asked to pick up uh, to pick up. So so which one is wrong? Just uh, scan, rush through. If you have got only five seconds. that uh, which particular choice you will pick up uh, okay aquilin and uh, what's the problem with the third option third sentence no aman not fourth uh, the to enact is to implement the long it cannot be impending generally impending is not used with the bill impending crisis it is pending bill long pending bill not impending so the wrong uh second shifali second is also fine the india government announced its commitment it is fine it says possessive also announced its past so impending is wrong here where i am moving my cursor you can see on your screen so it is uh, wrong pending okay actually i am looking at this sentence also in the president's address to parliament see if you are using uh, in journal then uh, the parliament is not wrong the is used whenever you want to highlight the status of any institution for example uh, the uh, uh, himalayas or the uh, state bank of india etc so if you are talking about in journal then it is fine parliament is a common noun otherwise if i talk about what is the name of afghan parliament so parliament is common noun can be used as common can be used as proper also therefore uh, the is fine if it is not used then also it is not wrong am i clear equally here he has used as uh, this common noun not the proper yes generally we use whenever we you write this but without the also it is not wrong that is what i am okay uh, so uh, yeah if any proper noun is used as common noun then the is used obviously but here uh, in as per the context let's say uh, in a, our country in our country we can use this as even a proper noun also so what so the i think uh, if it it, uh, it should uh, should have been written uh, what i made uh, made better sense or a sentence much better but if it is not written then it's also fine what's the problem with fourth option shifali fourth sentence sorry
So Vakulin uh, got this uh, third of seeds. Where it is is so. Oh, it could have written in another way. Yes, uh, there are so many ways, and sometimes we are not aware of a uh, few of the ways, so we think that it is incorrect the sentence. So uh, never try to match the given sentence, spoken uh, the given grammar sentences with your spoken. So generally, we have seen that whenever we are come when we come across any grammar based sentence or error finding uh, questions, we try to match the given with our spoken. So don't do that. And uh, there are uh, structures even sometimes we are not also aware of. So make sure that you are aware of the structures. Otherwise, the sentence is fine. A third of the seat means a portion of this has gone to women. That is what uh, we are trying to convey, Shefali. Am I correct? Uh, am I clear, Shefali? So uh, Ritu Purna, you are correct that then it should be the Parliament of India. Uh, okay, we'll confirm this equivalent next time. Uh, but sentence uh, till now seems to be correct. There are other ways of writing. Okay, uh, we are into the last legs of this. Still, we have got. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, we have got slides also and time also. Uh, don't worry. Uh, so, uh, coming on to this uh, 85th question, it is again um, kind of a misfit one. Okay, misfit one. 85th question, misfit one. Uh, we have to find out. Yes, uh, guys, uh, your take on this. So uh, suddenly geniuses are on. Yes, the answer is three. I think you all of you got this question correct. Uh, people mark this as moderate, but I think you people got this question correct. Yes, it is talk about economics here. The uh, the hint here was clear, very uh, that uh, economics is the word here. From this we can easily uh, could have made out that uh, this is a uh, odd one out. I think. Absolutely fine. Now one of the one of the stupid questions, one of the inane question, abstract question. Okay, what you have to say about guys? Thus, uh, uh, what you felt initially when you saw this question, came across this question. So, uh, uh, best, yeah. So, the best form of sometimes in war also we have to step back uh, to plan, strategize, and uh, save our soul. Very refined word I have used. Uh, so, uh, it is not necessary, there's no, this is not written in our uh, mythology or the cat brochure or law uh, in our constitution of India. That we need to attempt all the questions. So, until unless we I know the meaning of all the options in that to usage very clearly. Cat is not about the meaning of the option. It is actually about the using the words also. So, esoteric is not specific. <coughs> so, we should know the meaning of these. I picked up this just to remind you that uh, still there are. A uh, few anacondas. Uh, they, they generally I refer these questions as anacondas. Seem to be adorable pets, but uh, when they approach, when you approach uh, these question or they approach you, so either they'll swallow or you'll swallow. You'll be swallowed by, or they'll swallow you. In both the cases, you'll be at the receiving end. So generally, uh, do not uh, attempt unless you're damn sure about. So uh, mm, yes. So, what do you have to say about this? Uh, 88, 89. Yeah, answer to this was one. Uh, must have checked even uh, after taking the exam. That uh, very uh, curiosity generating question. So it says that something, uh, some dash knowledge is what we find hidden behind dash curtains. We don't know what will come. According to the philosophy, everything in life has complex. First key hint is complex meanings. Dash. Uh, we might see the color yellow, but but is contrast. Second keyword, what we see actually may not be actually that particular color has some specific meaning or energies. So if I look at the grammar part, last two should be adverbs. Therefore, is exo wherever ly ending words uh, will come. And first is 
uh, first should be adjectives ic words are uh, ending words are adjectives so ic ic every choice you see ic uh, but second will not come because second in second it is exigent exigent is uh, uh, something to do with emergency or difficult situation so it cannot be exigent cutter and exo exoteric means we are looking about uh, whatever we look around means uh, externally things are little different so second blank should be exot uh, exoteric and uh, therefore third blank should also be similar uh, what we look around might see the color yellow exoterically second and third should be uh, almost same the change of form first is adjective second is adverb therefore first choice <laughs> I have used grammar. Yes, Ecolin, what is urgent? Yeah, esoteric knowledge, urgent knowledge. Exigent is urgent, yeah. Behind. Urgent action required, immediate action. So that is how sometimes grammar, sometimes context, sometimes my vocabulary. So cat means you need to get the right answer, beat your grammar, you take the help of grammar or options or context. The point is that you need to get the right answer. So seems to be a little complex question at the site of the question, but it was not so difficult uh, as it seemed initially, but uh, question can be attempted just with the help of these middle two words esoteric and exoterically but point is that i should have at least little idea of these options little idea of uh, meaning of these options so okay uh, moving on to andhra pradesh committee this is pris again this is i think uh, last line okay this is uh, para completion question and I told you earlier also the technique is very simple. Para completion questions have can only two options either uh, it should be extension of the second last line or it should be the uh, conclusion of the entire story. That's how we go. So after reading the question, I should go to the choices. Uh, in choices, I see two choices with therefore, therefore, one with does, another with while. So three means three choices means conclusion. Therefore means does means conclusion and one is while while uh, could be your uh, extension based also. But primarily I'll first things that should come to my mind that the question is based on uh, uh, I think uh, conclusion I suppose I suppose okay. So that is how uh, we should go about. Yes, guys, uh, if you are able to recall, uh, so when it comes to conclusion, conclusion is primarily same as uh, summing up the entire discussion. No doubt in summary, we do include conclusion, but in conclusion, we do not include summary. That's how we go. The difference between summary and the conclusion is in summary conclusion is uh, to be included. But in concluding the situation, we are not supposed to sum up the entire situation. That's a basic difference. Uh, yes, uh, the answer to this is uh, second because uh, this choice has included all the keywords. Therefore, decentralized because it's talking about decentralization actually. And it should not be uh, uh, talking about how uh, when uh, earlier I just go back to the question I'll, I'll make you understand the it says that Andhra Pradesh is one of the two states uh, country initiate democratic centralized decentralization then we are not sure about let's say if I don't even understand PRIs in every phase success account except during 1670 where PRIs position were occupied by rural upper and upper caste evaded implementation for its own expert committees so this is more when OBC and weaker section during 90s entered these institutions. So somehow is talking about decentralization uh, was let's say uh, halted by and uh, caste lower caste or let's say upper caste playing the cards and uh, weaker section entered uh, these institutions. So that is how uh, started making difference 
and uh, there has after that there uh, have uh, been no serious efforts by the government during five decades to make decentralization uh, prominent so second is making sense it's not that uh, so he's talking about yes vidisha you're correct uh, is talking about uh, other rural social economic structure so definitely saying that we should take uh, instead of caste uh, in addition to caste we should also take other variables into consideration therefore second is the best completion because it's a conclusion also so Question number ninety-six. So here the keyword, the only keyword was cannibalization. So do we know the meaning of word cannibalization, guys? Where I'm moving my cursor. Cannibalization. Cannibalization means cannibals. Who are these uh, creatures? Cannibals. Those who eat human flesh. Yeah, eating your own kind. Yes, cannibalization. So we need to pick up here is an example. Pick up the example where uh, something at your disposal uh, would be harming you. I think this is given in the third option. Rather than sending traffic to your website, the social network may be pulling traffic away. When a visitor clicks on candy like social media icon, it eats away. your traffic statistics so you are using something for uh, yourself and it is harming you on the other hand so here is example so keyword was cannibalization yeah three is of the kind yes with the pun absolutely fine then last three questions again uh, yeah it's asked uh, for an example that's why that's why we picked up this and uh, uh, after that uh, three last the question number 98 people have given you uh, people as uh, people have given this as uh, moderately difficult so the point is to find out the opener only after that game would be absolutely clear he has given d twice in third and fourth option a little difficult in terms of understanding the sentence so d in this case uh, was an opener so could i have third or fourth as your answer no shifal it is not third i suppose uh, the answer to this was uh, C you think that C is the answer C if i one may argue that order disorder dichotomy is no longer quite C okay you uh, picked up the right answer that's why C C is an opener answer wise or you are saying this by yourself that c is an opener seems to be yes rest of the guys uh i think this should be the last question because uh, again i'm running short of time it seems to be it seems to be it says that one may argue that order disorder dichotomy means bifurcation is no longer quite as strict as here it once was especially since few westerners or westernized groups care about the old orders any more individuals as they wish to uh after c i think d this is ordered chaos a new world where a partner independent lover can pop out of the virtual world and where no boundaries prevail yet there is someone romance out of corner yeah answer is 4 uh, this is actually his uh uh talking about order and disorder this is actually dichotomy and uh, the what is a dichotomy where you can uh, 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 in virtual world you can do anything but in real world with some uh, some of the things are just like old marriage uh, they old rights like marriage so this is dichotomy order disorder dichotomy so after dc will come uh, shefali so there is no uh, set uh, point that uh, where even openers can start with this also 
and uh, look at the uh, don't look at the uh, keywords only and look at the theme and the meanings also embedded in the sentences uh, we should uh, go through all the sentences first and uh, after that uh, we should try to understand apply the tricks so it's very important i to uh, uh, generally tell my students that we buy, until unless you understand uh, this uh, story a little there is no point and there are no set pattern even we can start sometimes the opener would start by the word like because sometime by that also must have seen yourself in most of the exams and generally deliberately we keep all these words because generally we teach you that opener cannot start with one of these words but looking at the context sometimes it can the so second part generally we are not able to recollect so it can start there is no point rule that this word will not start uh, opener will cannot start with this word so point is to look at the uh, the context am i clear shefali uh, this is referring to this uh, ordered chaos yes uh, yes yes uh, it is confusing that's why it is very important uh, sooner or later you shall be entering the field of management and uh, you have to make decision choices after understanding the story what is happening and the context changes and uh, so we have to change even strategy also but uh, it is not necessary that uh, uh, every time we'll get uh, the so called conventional openers so sometimes we need to uh, go beyond Uh, the understanding of the tricks and uh, understand the context it is confusing no doubt so uh, i think the uh, guys time uh, has come to wind up the session i'm think i'm done with the slides no still last question again uh, this we at this time we have given this is subjective question so were you able to uh, got this uh, uh, were able to uh, get this correct okay uh, seems to be simple uh, question yes the uh, option was rpsq 1 uh, and 6 before 6 q will come and after 1 r will come so very simple very interesting question very funny at the same time so the time has come to wind up the session see you next time around and uh, people start uh, with great uh, enthusiasm at the start uh, 18 or 20 will start attending this lecture at the end of the day uh, there would only 12 or 15 commandos left so see you commandos all of you Uh, and uh, see you at IIMs. Uh, so here your no means uh, answer. Answer is so this was subjective uh, descriptive question. You were supposed to type the answer. The answer is R P S Q. Uh, Rituparna, I have already uploaded today itself the uh, first part of my subject over agreement video, and I shall definitely be uploading on FIJs. Probably next I'll uh, pick up FIJs. Don't worry, uh, all of you. And uh, I have uploaded the uh, I would say the important, very important part of subject over agreement itself today at let's say 12, 12:30. You can go and watch this. So all of you guys, see you next time around, and uh, with more questions, more videos, and. Uh, more chit chat right see you guys bye uh, which answer which answer equally an answer uh, for uh, which particular question you are asking no no it is not necessary 1 and 6 they are already fixed we uh, the direction also say that we need to rearrange in between sentences 1 and 6 are not necessary means if you write then also it's not going to make any big difference but it is not necessary we are not supposed to am i clear equally okay guys see you bye